This video is sponsored by Inkbox. Stick around for some beautiful temporary tattoos that celebrate our gorgeous planet Earth. 2021 has brought some intense climate news. Flooding, wildfires, hurricanes, record-breaking heat waves. The year 2021 provides good news about the climate. People are celebrating floods, fires, hurricanes, and higher temperatures. So we want to give you a quick, non-exhaustive explanation of what exactly scientists believe to be causing the climate crisis, as well as what you can do about it. Jeep Jayton, a man who goes to heaven in search of speed. PP will succeed. And Google Translate is here too, to make us all feel better. I improved everything on Google Translate. <laughs> The data is clear. The Earth is warming. The examples were not clear, and her ear is extremely hot. Climate change has always been a naturally occurring event, but there are clear indicators that human activity has been a factor in the way the climate has been changing, especially over the past 300 years. This is a big change, but if not, it is clear that human history began 30,000 years ago. I don't... I don't think so. Pretty sure it did. The Industrial Revolution, which began in the mid-18th century in England and North America, saw the emergence of manufacturing and an increase in production of new sources of energy, namely gas and coal. The American War of Independence that began in Britain and South America in the middle of the first century increased the labor force and increased the production of new energy, oil, and coal. The burning of fossil fuels to create energy for heat, transportation, and electricity results in the emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Heating, appliances, electric heaters. These gases can become trapped, resulting in atmospheric heat retention. In addition, deforestation leads to less CO2 being filtered from the atmosphere and more light refraction from the surface of the Earth, thus creating additional heat. Hundreds of oil films produce less dust. Do not burn onions. I think caramelized onions are good. No, no. Do, do not burn onions. Do not burn onions. Since the 19th century, the planet's average surface temperature has risen about 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit, 1.1 degrees Celsius, most of that rising in the last 40 years. The average temperature of the planet has risen 2,118 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,118 degrees Celsius since the first century. My energy has miraculously increased in the recent past. Just if you don't think that's a lot, the last ice age ended around 3,000 years ago. The planet was a blanket of ice, and surface temperatures were only 5 to 9 degrees cooler than they are now. So even a small change in temperature has a severe impact. Winter ended abruptly 3,000 years ago. Okay. With a warmer climate, droughts become more severe, and wildfires are more likely to spark. Over time, it will dry out and burn. Warmer temperatures and heavier clouds from additional vaporization mean stronger, more violent storms. Higher temperatures and greater cloud displacement make it stronger and more difficult. As temperatures rise, the air quality drops due to emissions, mold, and other allergens, becoming less hospitable for breathing. The air temperature rises, fixing cracks, mold, and other sensitive phenomena in the dining room. As icebergs melt and sea levels rise, flooding becomes more commonplace in areas at or below sea level. The east coast is covered with snow waves. Entire ecosystems, from coral reefs to arctic tundras, can crumble and vanish remarkably quickly. And we are already witnessing what scientists are calling the sixth mass extinction. Leaving the stunning cliffs of the North Pole and every heavy soul of the sixth autumn, we know there is something amazing about the number of suns which scientists call lost. It is estimated that by 2050, over one billion people could be considered climate refugees, leading to mass migrations, greater social inequity, and loss of life. By 2050, millions of people will be able to benefit from the refugee crisis. Ooh. Many guests will feel the scent of life, the silence, and everything else. Don't love that. Now for the good news. We have what we need to mitigate the damage. Now we say we should suffer a little. Just a little. 
The key is cutting global emissions of fossil fuels, and the vast majority of that action needs to happen on a legal level, specifically regulating the energy sector. Reducing food consumption is very important. In many cases, it should be taken seriously, especially when it comes to vegetables. Thus far, the Paris Climate Agreement has been the most united front against climate change, with the U.S. attempting to cut emissions by 26 to 28 percent by 2025. China, the U.K., and the EU aim to be carbon neutral. So far, Paris has been a major force in climate change. By 2025, the U.S. will cut bananas from 26 percent to 28 percent. Central will be China, Britain, and the European Union. What can you do at home? Is how much is the price in the box? Continue to actively engage politically on both the state and federal level. Call your senator and congressional representatives, state legislatures, and organize locally to encourage investment in renewable energy sources. Continue your political activities. Invite dictators, pagans, orphans, and designers to direct costs to your constituents. Again, legislative action will ultimately have the greatest impact. It is very important. But on an individual level, opting for renewable energy sources for your home, if available, is an excellent step. Decide to destroy the laughter. Good steps? Small steps like recycling, practicing zero waste, planting trees and plants native to our regions, and utilizing public transport, again, where possible, are all small ways that we can contribute. Waste used for planting trees, farms, and ponds will no longer be used. Although this approach is almost impossible. But we must not lose sight of the bigger picture, the responsibility of and the accountability from the largest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions. That comes from the burning of fossil fuels for industry and electricity, and from the consumption of petroleum-based fuels for transportation. We must not forget the prices of children's stores, and the prices of content as a whole. Use the car. No, use public transport. Nope, nope, use the car. Just burn, burn all the fossil fuels. BURN ALL THE FOSSIL FUELS! A big thank you to Inkbox for sponsoring this video. Inkbox tattoos give you the option to experience the look and feel of permanent tattoos without the commitment. They are skin safe, waterproof, and cruelty free. The magic behind Inkbox is their For Now Ink, a semi-permanent technology that develops in the top layer of your skin, which doesn't give you that filmy look of a normal temporary tattoo. They last about one to two weeks. You can shower and sweat away without worrying, and there are over 10,000 designs for you to choose from, including some beautiful ones that I have selected for you to celebrate the beauty of this planet that we are all working so hard to save. Inkbox tattoos look unbelievably real. I am obsessed with them. Look at that! Ah, so cool! Head on over to my page on Inkbox to check them out, link in the description, and get 20% off all the products. This offer is active until August 31st, 2021, so act now, my friends, and enjoy! Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time!